Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Shirani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys today? I am ready for another fun math lesson and today we are going to be working on counting sets of objects in horizontal, that means straight across uh, lines, and counting sets of objects in vertical lines, that means straight up and down, vertical horizontal. So we will work on counting those sets. As always, we'll have our five steps. We'll do our fluency games. We'll warm up with a fun game. We will do our concept development, chat about what we learned, and then you will get to do your exit ticket in Google Forms. You ready to get started? All right, let's go. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, so we are on module one, lesson seven. I can sort by count in vertical columns and horizontal rows. I can match numbers to cards. So we're gonna count our objects and then we're gonna match their number to them, which is a great um, way to begin number identification and making sense of numbers. First, let's start off with one of my favorite counting games. I, got, I told you guys in a um, past lesson that this was one of my favorites and I was excited to do it. It's called Sunrise and Sunset Counting. So let's stand up to do that. And in Sunrise Counting, we're going to start down really low and then we're going to count up together to five. Ready? Do it with me. One, two, three, four, Five. Okay, I know you can't see me, but stay up here and then let's sunset down to one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's do that one one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Like we're a sun rising and counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good work. Take a little deep breath if you need it. Okay, now we are going to do a five frame game. We'll roll the die down here and it will show that number on our five frame. This is a new um, math tool for us, a five frame. You We'll use these all the time in math, and eventually we'll get rid of the five frame and we'll use a 10 frame, which you will use even more in math. We'll use them lots. So this one's a five frame because it has five squares. And you might see five frames vertical, or you might see five frames horizontal. They can go either way. We'll try both ways today. So we'll roll this die and then we'll take this blue circle and we'll show that number in our counters or in our five frame. <laughs> I was thinking, I didn't tell you guys what you needed today in the video. You don't need anything. You can just follow along with me, okay? All right, let's roll the die. Ready? Tell me, roll. Okay, here we go. Oh, what happened? Oh no, let's try again. There we go. <laughs> one, just one on the die. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start down here in the bottom and put one counter on there. All right, let's do it again. Two, hmm, I already have one. So one, two, nice. Okay, let's do another one on the next page. Now this five frame is horizontal. So let's do these. Ready? Tell me. Roll. Roll. How many? One, two, three, four. Count with me. And I'm going to go from left to right. One, two, tell me when to stop. Three, four, stop. Good. All right, let's do it one more time. Oh, perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I already have four. One, two, three, four. I just need one more. Five. Hey, four more. Rhyming words. All right. Good work. 
Ooh, now let's try this roller coaster game. We're gonna practice counting. As the number gets bigger, let's slowly raise our hands. And if the number gets smaller, lower your hands to make a wave. You ready? All right, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna try to do it a little bit faster. Ready, wave with me. Five, or silly Mrs. Sharon, right, let's start again. One, two, three, four, five. Now faster, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good work. All right, let's get into our application problem for the day. So these are a bunch of things that we use um, for math when we're in the classroom or when we're at home. We're gonna find some things that we use for math and we'll talk about the things that we found that are the same and we'll group them together. So let's see, here's some unifix cubes. We have one, two, let's group the unifix cubes. Three, okay, got the unifix cubes. Now let's see these counting bears. I love counting bears. Let's put the counting bears together. And then here's some tangrams. I love tangrams. Put those up here. And these are like little chips. We use these in math a lot too. Okay, so I grouped all of mine together. That's called categorizing. We've been working on that, right? I have three unifix cubes, two chips, three tangrams, and two bears. Let's do some more of this on the next page. How many blue cubes do you see? Where? One. Can you find something in your room that you have one of? Hmm. Oh, right here on my desk, I have one coffee mug. Just one. How many red cubes are there? Two, yes. Can you find something in your room, wherever you are in your home right now, that you have two of? I have two picture frames right here. Just two. What do you have two of? Oh, I almost went off. <laughs> Uh, well, how many yellow cubes are there? Three. Can you find something that you have three of? Hmm. Well, I have three pens. What do you have three of? How many purple cubes are there? Dark purple cubes. I have two, three, four. Four. Can you find something that you have four of in your house? I'm thinking you look too. Ooh, what about Sharpies? I have four Sharpies. One, two, three, four. And last we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you find something in your room that you have five of? I know that it, my son in his room has five stuffed animals. That's for sure. Do you have five stuffed animals at your house? I bet. All right, let's look at the next page. Let's look at all of these cubes. And can you help me sort them by color? Let's do the green ones first. We'll put all the green ones together. And then let's put all the blue ones together. Then let's do yellow next. Then let's do red. And we can leave purple right there. So now that we've sorted them by color, what shall we do? I see these number cards right here. Let's take these number cards and put them by the group of objects that have that many in them. So here is the number five. Hat, neck, and a belly. One, two, three, four, five. There's five blue, cu blue cubes, so I'm gonna move that five to right here. Here's the number four. It looks like we're counting down. Which cubes are in a group of four? Blurt. Green. So let's move four over here. Ooh, three. Which cubes are in a group of three? Blurt. 
red. Good. So I'm going to move red right there. We are labeling right now. Which group is in a group of two? That's two. Blur. Yellow. So let's slide yellow. And last but not least, which group only has one cube? Blur. Purple. So let's move this number right here. Wow, so we labeled our sets. We labeled groups of three, groups of four, group of two, group of one, and a group of five. Awesome, that's fun. And your parents, if you're watching this too, you can just take a bunch of crayons or anything that you have that has a bunch of different colors and have your kids sort them by color up to like five, maybe 10 if you wanna challenge them. And you can play this game by yourselves at your home too. Just take little sticky notes or cut up little um, pieces of paper and have them sort and then count and label how many there are. All right, let's do one last game. So now let's turn these sticks sideways. Okay, so I could have on this last page, I can go back. I could have on this last page set them up like this vertical, right? I could have put them all together like that. I kind of just grouped them together, but when we use these in our classroom, these click into each other and you are able to make them um, like big towers. So if I would have done that, these would be vertical, which was our objective for the day, right? We can count vertical and horizontal. So now let's see this one. So if we turn those vertical sticks sideways, do we have to count these again? No, we didn't change the digit card for each stick of cubes, right? But we can count just to be sure. So count with me. One, still one. One, two, still two. One, two, three, still three. One, two, three, four, still four. One, two, three, four, five, still five. So turning your uh, group of cubes from the vertical to horizontal didn't change how many there were, we just changed what it looks like, but it didn't change the number of cubes. Good work. All right, so we kind of talked about what we learned, right? Now I'm going to share your Google form with you and I have all ready. Okay, so today you are going to count the number of objects and then choose how many there are. Count the number of objects, how many there are. Count how many, count how many, and then you'll click submit. So some of these objects are horizontal, some are vertical. You have to count and then choose how many. Make sense? All right, kiddos, great job counting horizontal sets of objects and vertical sets of objects with me. We will come back here for lesson eight next time. Adios.